All right. Um, for this question, it might be uh, difficult for some student, so I decided to make a short video for this question. All right, because this question actually gives you two composite functions. Because normally, what you see in SPM exam, I mean the SPM MF exam, normally you have one composite function and the other one is just single function like gx or fx or f inverse or g inverse. But then you seldom see the question actually it will give you two composite function and one of it actually like like join together with the inverse function. So basically, how to get it? So you must have the idea how to get the uh, g square x. So in order to get the g square x, since I have both of these, so I will try to figure out if what if I combine these two functions, what will happen? So if I can substitute this one, which is the uh, which is the f inverse g into the g f x, you you can see what I will get. So I will have g f x. If I substitute the other one, maybe I use the yellow color for it for this one. So I will have f inverse g x. Okay, so if I substitute like this, so actually you realize that f and f inverse, this both of these you can simplify. So after you simplify already, because f inverse and f is something like this is uh, f inverse is the undo of f, so something like that. Uh. So so after you simplify already, basically you will get g square x. Okay, this is one of the logic, and I like this logic quite a lot because it makes the whole equation look very simple. So that's mean if I substitute the f inverse g into the gx. So what I will do is I will do the gf. Okay, so I will substitute my mean my x. My x basically will become the f inverse gx. So what happened on the other side is this is 12 my x actually will become whatever f inverse g have so which is 3x minus 2. All right so this one simplify you get g, g square x and then this one you basically get 36x minus 24 minus 8. So this is g2x it will equals to 36x minus 32. So in order to prove that my answer is correct, so I decided to use another method to see whether I will get the same answer or not. Okay, so I will just leave my answer over here. Okay, so let's say I let the gx become the m. So for this one, basically I have f inverse m will equals to 3x minus 2. So if I move my f to the other side, f inverse basically become the function f, 3x minus 2. So from here, this is m, right? Just now I said m equals to gx. That's mean, if, if, I, if I want to get the g square, I can try to get from the other equation. I have g fx here. Okay, okay, I will just write the whole equation now. Okay, trying to imagine, if I can... If I can make my fx become like this, become the uh, f3x minus 2, then the whole fx over here will become gx. Correct or not? Then I will have ggx. Ggx basically is mean g square x. Alright, this is the logic. So in order to get the, in order to get a uh, ggx, so what I will do is I will I will substitute my x become 3x minus 2. So that's mean whatever x here will multiply with 3x minus 2. Alright, and from here you can actually see that this, the whole thing here is equal to gx because we already like do the assumption on the top here. So basically this one, you, uh, what you will get over here is g, the f 3x minus 2 equals to gx. Then here I will just solve it and then I will get like 36x minus 24 minus 8. So ggx basically is g square x equals to 36x minus 32. And both also actually will get the same answer. Lah. Alright, this is how to solve this kind of questions. So yeah, this video is quite short because I just want to make sure I actually cover most of the patterns of the uh, function in MF because a lot of students just like so struggling in this topic. So I, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any 
comment or question yeah you can find me on my youtube or on my facebook anyways thanks for watching